I'm, I'm sure it doesn't happen overnight, does it? No, please. I mean, most of these non-communicable diseases drags over a period of time. So it's not like you eat the sugar, you take in the sugars, and immediately the effects are there. But these are long-term effects. Of course, research has also proven that once you're able to minimize your intake of this, you could also go a long haul even before some of these NCDs will show up. So it's and, and, and the thing about NCDs is that, as I, I think I heard you early on when we were driving here, that it comes and virtually stays with you. So it's, it's, it's once you get curable. there, it's not curable. It's managed, mm. and then it takes you through the rest so, of your so life. So, <laughs> <laughs> it, so this is really dangerous. Huh? Yes, yes, yes. Do we have some statistics to speak to? So, for example, when you look at children, for example, how many children are obese yeah, yeah. as a result of the intake of these sugary yeah, stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you look at women, how many women are obese? How many women are hypertensive? as a result of the intake of these, do we, do we have some statistics? Yes, yes, we do. In fact, we've done some research in Kumasi here. Our target was to look at obesity in children. And I think uh, we focused, in fact, for some reason, we tried to focus on children in the basic school and then children in the public school. And I guess basic public school and basic, uh, how do you call it, uh, the private schools. Mm -hmm. And I guess your guess would be as good as The fine. ones who attend the private schools are from rich homes. Exactly. The ass will be higher. Exactly. And then exactly. they will right. fall like me. Exactly. <laughs> who attend the public schools exactly. and all that, house below. Exactly. Our parents cannot exactly. afford them. Exactly. Yeah. And, and then I think our prevalence was around 22, 23 but, percent. But there are also studies that cover the rest of the country, like national, rep, nationally representative studies. And that show that among women, Obesity is up and overweight and obesity is more than 40%. Mm. It's more true. When you go out there, you see them. For every 10 women, it means more than four are overweight or obese. Mm. So the risk for all these diseases are high. How about the deaths? Do you have statistics? Yes, I know internationally the WHO channels some figures. In Ghana, do we have specific data we can speak to? So we don't have the national data on deaths from NCDs because again, research needs money to do and conduct and there are no policies on research so there's no money to do the national ones. But the small ones that we have done like the uh, pocket of studies in different, um, in, in different um, areas, re regions of the country, some have reported um, deaths of, you see, people who have um, overweight and obesity, mm. risk of death is more than twice mm. those that are not overweight or obese. Mm. Mm. And so the levels are very high, but we don't have the national ones. We have WHO's um, um, data that shows for Ghana, as, as Ghana, we, there, there are more than 90,000 deaths from NCDs every year. And it stands at three in more than three in 10 people. Mm. And it's projected that by 2030, NCDs will be the the most, the major, the, the, the yes. highest cause of death in Ghana. By 2030. By 2030. NCDs. If we remain on the, the way, road, the same, the same path. Yeah. You mentioned that the 